All right, guys, what's up? Connor here. We are doing the subwoofer and amp install, finally. I went ahead and already got to work. I got the door panel taken apart because I'm going to connect an inline converter into the speaker, which means I'll just tie into the wires. I'm going to run them through, down, along through here, and through the back seat, which is going to lead straight to the subwoofer. And I have a competition nemesis subwoofer. 12 inch in a ported box with a 2000 watt amp. It's gonna be a sick setup and I'm freaking excited. So when I get a little bit further along, I'll hit you guys up. The thing about it though is, is I'm not entirely sure how to tie in this freaking converter because I'm kind of dumb to that stuff. I've never been good at wiring. So we're gonna figure this out as we go. That's the that's the new setup. What do, time. what do you think, dude? That's not even that's just normal levels About too, man. That's to join the base gang. That's not even cranked up. Corbin, my brother, gave me the Nemesis audio setup you had in his truck. And now the dart and the charger have blacked out lights together. <laughs> they got the custom tags. They got the systems. The decals. The decals. Now you just need the tinted windows and the, I, the Dodge hash mark in the front. I got new tires. Got my exhaust. We got exhaust too. <laughs> yeah, that too. I need to finish mine. But I'm going to go ahead and try to extend this base knob up to the front so I can have better control. Because I don't want it thumping like that all the time. My grandpa stopped by the other day and I he was about to leave. I was like, here, I'll give you a little rev. For the well, Justin finally tagged the Jeep. Trying to find the van. Man, everywhere I turn, see my mom is tagging, is like sending pictures of people in Bartlesville that has the, she'll see the decal on a car in Bartlesville. Yeah. She'll snap a picture and send it to me. So this is now the newest addition to the club. All set up with baby stuff. You'll never <laughs> see it on a cruise. <laughs> ah. Jeeps are cool, man. That's why you have to do any kind of off-road, and I guess this is not my choice. Yeah, if we wanted to go have an off-road day and play, you can bring this. <laughs> I actually looked for leveling kits for this, but they don't make them for this model. This is the four-cylinder, right? Yeah. Because it's four-cylinder, doesn't mean it can have a leveling kit. We'll open the door up, see the inside. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. Always gotta have the boomstick. You keep yours right where I keep mine. Pretty quick for a four cylinder. Not as fast as the car. After many, many attempts, two days, full weekend, I finally got the system installed. There's the Nemesis sub. The base knob, I had to put it there because it wouldn't reach all the way to the front. There's the amp and the wiring. I got all the wiring hid except for that, which is really hard to hide in the dirt I have discovered. Um, one thing that I don't like is I had to bridge the door speakers, but is what it is. But it sounds phenomenal. It hits really hard and it's probably one of the loudest 12 inch subs I've ever heard. Uh, shout out to my brother for giving me that on a discount price. Came out of his truck. Uh, it sounded freaking amazing in his truck, but he also had a bunch of um, aftermarket speakers and stuff that comes later, but 
that Dart's officially got a sound system. Um, like I said, well, not a full system yet without the speakers, but it does have a sub and an amp, and that amp, it's got more channels to push even more stuff, so I'm pretty freaking stoked to see what else I can do with this thing. It's a 2,000 watt amp, so it should push another sub if I wanted. I might just run some speakers for it, but Dart's ready to go. It's got a sound system. Got my new tires. Pretty sick. All right. Well, I was gonna show you guys how how I did the um, how I did the install, but I messed up so many times I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work. Um, I started doing the uh, first. I tried to run it off the right door, rear door speaker because it's a converter kit that con converts the stereo speakers wiring into RCA cables. And finally, I decided I was gonna go ahead and tear down the left side of the car and ran the wires from there. And as soon as I plugged it in, it turned right on and started thumping, so. <sighs> Pretty cool. So. Oh, there's that update. Uh, the dart's coming along. I think the next thing we're gonna do is finish the exhaust and tint the windows. After that, besides wheels and coilovers, the dart's pretty much gonna be where I want it. So. Till then, I'll catch y'all later. Hit that subscribe button. See y'all around.